Greetings, everybody. My name is Brody, and I'm the dude behind Five House Games. And uh, today I just wanted to sit and talk a little bit and touch on a couple things. I uh, know I haven't made a video in quite a while, um, so I just wanted to sit and have a friendly little chat for a minute. Touch on a couple subjects. You know, so it should be no question without a doubt that I believe in ghosts. And... I can say that pretty wholeheartedly, because, uh, I don't know, ever since I was little, very young, I can remember having experiences and stuff, uh, odd things happening, um, I've had things happen around me for years, uh, not, not a whole lot recently, uh, since we moved to this house, but the, uh, previous house I lived in is probably the first time that I had a lot of questionable things really start to happen that made me start to realize that something might be uh, going on, you know. Um, always used to happen when I was home by myself. I'd, uh, I was in middle school and I'd come home from school. And, let's see, the first thing I really remember happening was coming home, being by myself, just got off the school bus and walked in the living room. And uh, my bedroom was just passed from there. And uh, I had just set my backpack down, and out of nowhere, I could hear um, uh, my radio. I had a stereo system set up in my room, and I could hear that playing. So it kind of wigged me out a little bit, so I, like, really slowly walked around over into my room. And, uh, you know, once I got in there, there was, obviously, there was no one in there. No one had been home for a while, a long time. And uh, the radio was just on by itself, just playing some music. Really, uh, kind of freaked me the fuck out. So I remember just like standing there in the middle of the room, didn't know what to do. So I cut it off, and I went back to the living room. And by the time I got back to the middle of the living room, it had cut itself back on, and uh, had increased volume. Like I went to walk back. It now by by that point I was extremely wigged. Uh. So I crept back over to my room, and uh, once I got there, uh, you know, it's the only one there, I just really, I got to the middle of my room, and it seemed like as I got closer, like the volume was increasing almost as I got there, and it seemed like the radio stations were changing or something. I, I didn't know what the fuck was going on at that time, so I stood in the middle of the room, like just kind of rambling over to my mind, and uh, I had the weird feeling like, like there was a group of people like surrounding me in a circle or something like I was being watched from every angle it was a very strange feeling so I cut that off and I called my friend and uh, he told me to get the hell out of there so that's what I did I ran outside and went to my friend's house down the street for a little while to chill out and I calmed down and that was the first real big thing that happened that was quite odd and I remember after that getting back to the house I went and uh, I checked the radio and everything and all the wires were fine of course uh, it was plugged in um, nothing was seemed to be faulty of any kind it's never done that before um, it was just really really freaking weird uh, some of the other things that happened I can remember I wish I could include a picture of it um, I accidentally caught a picture of an orb I think in my room just by chance of uh, taking a picture of myself in the dark and I had the flash turned on and I stood in the middle of the room in the dark and had the phone set up across the room and when it snapped the picture it caught a uh, orb what it looks like about the size of a golf ball or so flying up by me uh, that was weird I didn't see that for a while until I looked over that picture but in that house I mean I remember uh, shadow figures just always having that un really uneasy feeling like something was around you you know um, remember another time I come home from school, still just only one there, I just got in there, uh, there was a set of stairs that went down to the basement, the bottom floor, you could go out to the garage and stuff like that, uh, was sitting at the computer by myself, and, uh, had a, um, black lab, and was an older black lab, that was a dog at the time that was there, uh, I remember her kind of acting weird too, and like looking over by the stairs, and, I remember I was on the computer and besides the dog wasn't even growling or anything like that but something just 
made me want to look over towards the stairs. And when I did, I seen what looked, I swear to God, it looked like a five, six foot black shadow, like, shot up the stairs. And as it did, it, it like, kind of dissipated up the top, but it was lightning quick. You know, and it's like all it did, it's like the power surge in the house almost, like the lights kind of dim for a second. Let me tell you something, that freaked me the fuck out. No doubt. Uh, that's one of, I didn't, I didn't run out of the house that time, that was one of the later times of things happening. And I was trying to come to terms with it, and by that time I was more or less curious than afraid. But nevertheless, still very much afraid. And just one more thing, uh... I want to remember, I remember that I wanted to tell you, uh, another big thing that happened, I had, uh, it wasn't just me that witnessed it either, one of my friends was there with me, and, um, I was telling him about some of the stuff that was going on at the house, and he was kind of a believer, but he hadn't really had nothing happen, so he wasn't quite sure, but he was getting into it with me, you know, he was trying to feel it out and see what it was like, so I remember us being in my bedroom, and, uh, there's no one else home but me and him, and was trying the provoking method, you know, of yelling, calling things out, like advocating, saying there was nothing there, you know, calling names and stuff, cursing and whatnot, trying to intentionally get it to show itself or do something for some kind of proof, I guess. And me and me and friend Reed got got into it. We were yelling, and after a few minutes of yelling, we we stopped, dead silent. And then it almost sounded like. You could hear two people arguing from downstairs in the basement of what I said earlier. You go down the stairs to the bottom floor. But it didn't sound like words, like real words. It was a jumbled bunch of mess. It sounded like words. Unintelligible speech, I guess. But definitely, distinctly, two different voices yelling at each other like they're arguing. And what's even weirder than that is that when I listened into it, it sounded almost like my stepmom and my then at the time stepdad's voice. It's like something was mimicking their voice and yelling, right? At least that's what I thought at the time. So hearing this, me and where my friend Travis, we freaked the hell out and uh, started inching our way towards the living room. And the closer we got to the living room, it was almost like the sound of the yelling came up from downstairs and into the room with us. It was like it came up from the bottom floor through the little mid-hallway in the kitchen to us in the living room. And, I don't know, me and him stood there and it sounded like, just like me and you were standing here talking right now. You know, like two very distinct voices coming out of thin air right in front of us yelling at each other. And some unknown, what sounded like language. I mean, it, it was, it sounded like it was supposed to be English, you know, but it was like broken words. That you could not make out any actual words. Almost to the point that, like, I remember uh, it brought me and him almost to the brink of tears. Like, it was so, such a, such an intense moment. You know, seeing that shit happen in the moment kind of gets to you. It, makes you. it can make you a little emotional. Just, it's, it was just so unreal. Uh, we held strong though, no, it didn't run, and uh, it quit, it stopped, and me and I just kind of looked at each other and just in awe, had no idea what was going on, so after a while, you know, we sat down and tried to talk it out and try to rationalize it, and I'll tell you that that right there definitely made him a believer, and that uh, sunk me in further in the in the belief of it, because that was very fucking humbling experience. I don't think I've had nothing that bad happen since then, but that was, that was, that was bad. And it hasn't been until very recently that I started using <clears throat> the spirit box that I got me one and started trying to record and actually capture some real evidence of stuff going on. Uh, sadly, I didn't have it at the time and was doing that when I lived at the other house where all that stuff was going on. But maybe some part of that has retained and kept itself with me from having experienced that from a while ago. It gave me some, some more of a deeper connection, something understanding, that kind of stuff. Because I, like, I don't consider the house here haunted of any kind, but when I use the spirit box here and outside, it um, it's a whole other feeling. 
whole whole different feeling. Shit can get weird. Can make can change the atmosphere in the room of you around you, make you feel real real fucking weird, like you're being watched, like people are standing around you and stuff. Some of the things that can be said coming through can really give you the heebie jeebies, you know. <laughs> and I don't know who to say. Like I've had some of these sessions I've done where um I don't know if I have them on, I don't think I have these on video that I'm talking about, but I have some where they have said, like, part, like, they said my middle name, and I've never told them that before, or, like, where I'm originally from or born, and they've told me that in other sessions and stuff, and they can remember my name and stuff like that. That's wild, I think. Um, that just goes to show that there's, there needs to be more study done into this, and that's what, I, what I'm trying to do. Hopefully this is what the answers I'm trying to get from using spirit box and doing stuff like this is to get answers into what happens or where do we go when we die Hell, i've even had i remember I even had time where i think i had something come through and either say my name i know something said my name but it sounded either like my voice or something similar like that like mimicking me that's weird uh some things i've talked to i'm pretty sure are human some things might be imitating other things i don't know or saying that they're human I've had, uh, you know, in the other videos, I've had the thing scream at me, uh, say that there's a devil and that kind of stuff, and they're around me or whatever. That shit'll wig you out. I mean, who's to know what that really is? It's what I'm trying to. You have to try to go with a gut feeling and try to ask the questions to see if you can get a decent response to stuff like that. So I can try to figure out what's really going on with this thing, you know, because it is just radio. Right, essentially, that's all it is. It is just a radio, but it's able, it's been modified to be able to sweep the radio frequencies fast enough and cause some kind of static to be able to tap into the other side, apparently. It's a little theory on it. But, anyway, um, I don't want to try to ramble too much, so I'm going to try to wrap this up real quick. So, let me guys know, uh, <laughs> let me, I'm sorry, uh, let me know if you guys, you know, what are your thoughts on this? If you got any experiences of something happened, uh, any sp spooky things ever happened to you, or you got a ghost story, or if you're a believer or not, you know, I'd like to know, let me know, um, hopefully sometime soon, uh, I'll, uh, I'll get back into using this, it should be pretty soon, I know it's been a while since I've turned it on and actually used it, um, but hopefully the next session will come soon. And we'll try to get to the deeper meaning and find the real answers of what's really out there and what's going on. So until then, if you stuck around this long to listen to me ramble, I heavily appreciate it. Seriously, from the bottom of my heart. So thank you guys so much, and I hope you have a good day. Please subscribe if you feel like if you feel like it. If not, that's all right. Uh, hopefully, next video will be coming real soon, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.